If sharks uh, aren't terrifying enough to some of you, there's a new threat in the waters. I noticed that all of the sharks had these long, slimy, skinny fish stuck to their skin. On the beach in Rhode Island, a 28-foot-long shark washed ashore. It is pretty sad to see such a majestic animal meet its demise. What happens when Mother Nature throws a curveball? Prehistoric monsters of dark depths, crazy discoveries on the sand, and astonishing mysteries of the sky. Get ready to explore a world where the ordinary is merely a disguise for the extraordinary. 27-foot minke whale, and it's one of dozens who have mysteriously died in the past year. Residents of a small Scottish beach woke up to find a massive mink whale carcass that had washed ashore at twilight. Mink whales, though common in the area, rarely make an appearance on the shore. Authorities immediately closed off the area for a safer inspection. The biggest concern was finding out what caused the whale's demise. It's possible this whale succumbed to a couple of health issues or was met by a predator. It's also entirely possible the water's temperature and other conditions made the environment unbearable for the whale. We are investigating to see if there might be some underlying disease problem or some other virus that might be new uh, to the species. Sadly, we've yet to find out the cause. The authorities cleaned up the beach and collected the whale for further evaluation. Sun down. Talk about finding Poseidon's dinner. A couple of researchers discovered a mola mola carcass on an island, and it took a lot of spit and grit to take the gigantic creature back home. Considered one of the heaviest fish in the world, an average sunfish weighs somewhere around 1,000 kilograms. But this one weighed a whopping 2,744 kilograms. That's more than twice the expected weight. Tragically, the mola mola had long passed away. So returning it to the sea wasn't an option. Even sadder is knowing that such a fate often waits mola mola. Sunfish become excessively buoyant after passing away and float to the surface, causing them to stray toward the shore. So despite this particular sunfish's award-winning size, it's not uncommon to see these creatures in such a condition. Toothy Troubles This half-eaten predator was discovered by a fisherman off the coast of White's Beach in Cape Water Bridge, Australia. Although sharks, even great whites, are quite common in the area, seeing them in such a pitiful position isn't. The great white is one of the strongest predators in the ocean. The only enemies it knows are orcas. Although they easily take down a great white, they don't leave it in such a pitiful condition and rarely allow part of it to reach the shore. This can only mean one thing. The great white became prey to a bigger predator, one that we might have no clue about. Well, talk about getting a taste of your own medicine. Whale of a headache. A mystery washes ashore. A skull showed up Monday on the sand at Island Beach State Park in Ocean County. On the quiet coastline along Island Beach State Park, a clean, solitary mink whale skull was discovered. This raises an interesting question. How did it get so clean? Usually, if a larger sea creature were involved, we wouldn't expect such a pristine condition. So, what's the explanation? The answer might lie in the ocean's smaller inhabitants. Microorganisms and minor sea creatures play a crucial role in the ocean's ecosystem, especially in cleaning up. They likely contributed to the skull's remarkable state, leading to a very exciting discovery for beachgoers. Reanimated Fantasty. If you think the zombie apocalypse isn't real, take a look again. That's right. That's a shirt swimming for food even after getting into a serious altercation with another shark. Although we're probably seeing this for the first time, zombie sharks are pretty common. Well, in some ways more than others. Certain sharks can continue to move even after encountering another predator due to their remarkable ability to survive and adapt. Their cartilaginous structure is much more flexible compared to other sea creatures, and their circulatory system makes it easier for them to heal which means they're quite indestructible. Well, that makes it worse. Imagine encountering a predator that's turned into a zombie. I guess Australia really is the master of wowing us with the wacky. Whaleful Recess 
a blubbery mess causing an awful stench. It's not every day that you find such a sight near a bustling playground. Beachgoers discovered a giant whale carcass on shore after rogue waves dragged it upwards. Although whales occasionally beach themselves, this one had long passed away, suggesting foul play. It's possible that a larger sea creature might have been involved. The whale may have succumbed to the ambush and drifted ashore. When a whale passes away in the ocean, gases start to build up in its body as a result of decomposition. These gases make the whale's body buoyant, causing it to float. This explains why the whale was easily carried by the waves and ended up in such a pitiful condition. The whale was later collected for research. Blubber Bonanza Two more whales were found dead in the past two days. The latest whale washed ashore. Seeing one of Mother Nature's finest works in such a condition is truly heartbreaking. The creature caused quite the stir with its appearance. Since most beachgoers assumed it had beached itself and were eager to help out, but by then the whale had already passed away. Enormous. Um, it's so sad to see this kind of thing happen, wondering how this happened. It's possible this humpback whale washed ashore on a New York beach after succumbing to an illness. Most whales slowly rise to the surface after passing away, where they serve as food for smaller organisms, even other sea creatures like sharks. However, it's pretty clear this one ended up being pushed to the shore, where returning to the sea wasn't an option. So researchers collected the whale to study more about its demise. Whale NATO When a whale carcass washed ashore on one South African beach, it became one of the biggest concerns for the locals. Whales occasionally beach themselves on shore, but finding a carcass already suggests a predator in play. Little did people know this carcass would become the biggest mystery they'd seen. You see, when beachgoers inspected the carcass, they discovered bite marks on it. Typically, whales float to the surface after passing away from disease or natural circumstances. But the condition of this whale suggested it might have succumbed to a larger and unknown predator. For now, we can only assume a team of local researchers collected samples from the whale to figure out the truth. Alien Abduction Stumbling upon this creature on a Mexican beach might have felt like encountering a mythical sea creature. Picture this, an eel-like being with jagged teeth resembling something you'd expect in legends or deep sea tales. Naturally, everyone was vying to find out about the creature's identity. Was it a mythical creature that had always been lurking in our oceans or something truly bizarre? Turns out it's both. This is a snaggletooth snake eel. It is one of the rarest sea creatures and has only been seen a couple of times and never been washed ashore. Since it thrives deep underwater, we don't know what pulled it to shore. Except that if such creatures are making appearances, there's probably something sinister going on. Basked away. This is a 26-foot basking shark washed up in Greenland Cove in Bremen. Beachgoers hoping for a relaxing day instead spent hours trying to figure out how a gigantic basking shark drifted ashore. A 26-foot-long shark had found itself beached against its will on the shore of Greenland Cove, Brennan, Germany. And although it had long lost its battle against life, its immense stature left many scratching their heads. Of course, the bigger question is, what caused this basking shark to make its way to the shore? Although it's easier to assume it might have been prey to a bigger predator, we don't know for sure. Basking sharks are rarely on the menu for other sharks or creatures. Sadly, this suggests the environment may not have been safe enough for the sharks anymore. And this only points to one culprit, us. Sturgis Discovery A creature from the deep that washed ashore in Ocean County, New Jersey had people asking, what is it? Now, this is a story you won't want to miss. It all started with a walk on the beach, and what they found was anything but ordinary. I came head on with it at first. It looked like a huge lizard head, not expecting like something that big. Said on the sand almost perfectly, this rare fish carcass awaited beachgoers. Some of them got quite scared until they finally contacted authorities. Sturgeons, although common in New Jersey, rarely venture close enough to the shore. They're typically hooked by fishermen or may poke the surface on rare occasions. The sturgeon's condition is quite peculiar too. It's only slightly decomposed. 
suggesting it was recently beached. Of course, with a fish that size, you rarely know what might have pushed it to the shore. I'd say a predator, but look how clean it is. It's probably a victim of accidental beaching. Poor guy. Belly Buster Talk about a punch in the guts. Beachgoers in South Africa were stunned to see a great white shark, one of the ocean's biggest predators lying with a hole in its underbelly, some of its internal organs missing. We don't need a scientist to figure out what went wrong here. This great white shark was the target of an orca pod, which are known to tackle sharks specifically for their livers, which is why this one's got a pretty surgical hole and one without vital organs. Of course, that doesn't mean seeing a great white in such a condition isn't sobering. I don't blame the beachgoers for this one. If I stumbled across the ocean's mightiest predator in this condition, I'd be freaking out too. Beached Barbs Look it, it's a dead stingray! You never know when a day at the beach could turn sour, but luckily one parent's instinct saved everyone. A couple of families were playing close to the shore when a wild wave brought along a weird blob. Thankfully, almost instantly, one of the parents correctly identified the mass. It was a stingray carcass that had washed ashore after passing away sometime earlier. Its body typically remained in the ocean and was becoming a part of the ecosystem. The sting in a stingray's tail can remain sharp, and along with the venom, can be effective for some time after the stingray's demise. Chomped away Folks at a Queensland beach have been scrambling to find out this mystery creature's identity. Although it eerily looks like a grouper, judging by its mouth and overall stature, some are not convinced. This creature has frilled edges, one that you wouldn't expect in a classic grouper. It suddenly appeared at the beach around midnight and remained there for a couple of hours, slowly drying out in the open air. A couple of marine researchers sampled the creature to identify it but they've yet to come back with the results. Although I do believe it's just a regular grouper, considering we are talking about Australia, there's a high chance this is yet another creature that has been long lurking in Aussie waters, but the rest of the world has no idea. Six feet under. Australia is a big fan of crazy animals, and yet once again, its soil has revealed remains of what paleontologists believe belong to a diprotodon. Diprotodons roamed the Earth around 2.5 million years ago to about 11,700 years ago. But let's talk about their appearance. Diprotodons were massive ground sloths. Some of them could reach lengths of up to 20 feet or more. That's about as long as a small school bus. And I've been saying it for years, the only thing holding back regular sloths is their speed. So you can pretty much imagine how nightmarish the Dryptodon looked. Just take a look at this part of a Dryptodot's skull. Its jaws alone are twice the size of a paleontologist's head. That's terrifying. Well, I didn't know I'd ever say this, but I'm quite glad to see at least some animals aren't walking the earth anymore. Blubber Bash. Six, a great white shark as big as a boat was hungry. The massive shark feasted on a dead small whale. Boy, Mother Nature keeps getting sicker and sicker. A whale's body fills up with gas, causing it to become buoyant and float to the surface. You can see all these scallop bites now way up close. It then becomes victim to opportunistic feeders, which consume to their heart's content and leave the carcass to its fate. What you're watching here is a glimpse into this very sight. As aggressive as great whites can be, they can't resist free meals. So this one isn't going to leave until it has sustained itself. Of course, that doesn't make the sight any less pleasing. But I guess that's what you expect out of the Outbacks. Saving Private Mako There are not many people on the planet who can say they went out for a routine beach day and ended up saving the life of a shark. So, I guess these guys are winning life. Although mako sharks frequently make their way to shallow waters, they rarely poke their way to the shore. Which is why we can safely assume this one did not mean to the beach itself, as it wildly thrashed in hopes of getting back to the sea. Hey, this is too dangerous, don't be doing that. 
a couple of kind-hearted beachgoers stepped in to save the day. Only if it was this easy. The Mako was aggressively trying to free itself out of its grasp, not really understanding its own life was at play. It was eventually dragged to the waves where it quickly swam back into the depths. Crusty Conundrum Someone tells Poseidon he dropped his cornetto on the beach again. Seriously though, what the heck is this? You can pretty much spot the beachgoer's curiosity in this one. I'd be pretty curious too. I did a bit of digging and found out this is just a sea creature carcass that found its way to the shore. Of course, that's not the focus here. The sea creature, whatever it was, is pretty much covered with barnacles. These creatures often make carcasses their home, settling on it to sustain themselves. Of course, nature is pretty unpredictable. So who knew they'd end up with their humble abode on a beach somewhere? Dynamite. In outback Queensland, they have discovered a new dinosaur. It's all been authenticated now. It's the largest dinosaur known on the Australian continent. Forget the T-Rex. Australia recently unearthed the largest species of dinosaur in the country. Meet the Ulstra Titan Capernicius, which at full length once measured well over 30 meters long and a shocking 6.5 meters high from the hip. Taller than your average two-story apartment, Solely judging by the size of its skeleton, we can pretty much assume that's one dinosaur who wouldn't have liked to share the earth with. I mean, sure, it was a herb-eating colossus, but that doesn't ease my anxiety like you'd expect it to. Well, talk about stomping into record books. Lancet's Day Out Deep sea creatures washing up ashore. While scientists say they're thrilled for the sighting, some locals say they're in a bit of a shock. Ever seen a fish that looks like it swam out of a sci-fi movie? Well, beachgoers in Washington had that exact experience with a rare sighting of a lancet fish. This deep sea dweller usually sticks to the ocean's twilight zone, far from human eyes. So spotting one on the beach is like winning the marine biology lottery. But why did this lancet fish end up in the shallows? Sometimes, though, currents or health issues can push them into unfamiliar territory. Lucky for this lancet fish, it wasn't the end of the line. People at the beach stepped in and guided the lancet fish back to deeper waters, ensuring this rare visitor got to go back home. Pandora's Box what aliens spawned this absolute nightmarish creature? This bizarre sea creature crawled up to the sandy abode like a scene straight out of a horror movie. This tentacle-bearing, nightmare, spikes-holding creature is believed to be a heart urchin, one that's named so for its human heart-like shape. Naturally, it spooks countless beachgoers when they come across it. This little creature is typically found in subtitle regions, so it's not that far off from the beach. Except, of course, encountering it doesn't exactly sound like the picture-perfect scene for most beachgoers. Metallica Greenhead's newest and biggest attraction was hard to miss. This mystery object quickly became the talk of the town. I guess extraterrestrial life really does exist. This mysterious container suddenly washed ashore a beach north of Perth, Australia and even several weeks after its discovery is continuing to stump people. At first, most beachgoers assumed it was just part of a broken ship or a maritime vessel, because as surprising as it sounds, it's not unheard of. But most couldn't identify the mysterious object. Eventually, beachgoers called authorities who sealed up the area to ensure it was secure. The entire process brought some pretty crazy theories, though. Some suggested it was part of a broken space shuttle while others claimed it was a UFO. Well, who knows? poke a doodle do Is this what a baby xenomorph looks like? I swear the Earth keeps on introducing newer and newer species, most of which we're gladly going to stay away from. This weird alien creature was discovered and recorded by a beachgoer, who uploaded the video in hopes of identifying the creepy crawler. The spiky creature is a sea mouse, this bristle-laced marine worm is named so because it bears a slight resemblance to a mouse and oddly behaves like one too. 
I wouldn't suggest trying to hold it, though. The segmented spines you see are actually poisonous and can be pretty dangerous. Don't mink me. I'm no expert, but this carcass is a pretty long way from shore. It's not uncommon for bodies of sea creatures, especially whales, to drift ashore after passing away. But seeing one this close to a beach deck is quite the startling sight. This can only mean one thing, the poor carcass washed ashore sometime close to the night, and someone had the gall to bring it that high up. But let's take it down a notch. It's also possible the carcass ended up this way after intensely rogue high waves that have long receded into the ocean. Either way, it's a pretty upsetting sight. Nature's Beach Ball Sometimes all it takes is a little bit of push from Mother Nature to introduce us to some of its oddities. This oddball washed ashore after a tsunami in Japan, and you can pretty much sense even the locals weren't expecting it. They initially assumed it was a mysterious creature. Some even akined it to a kappa, a Japanese folklore character, claiming this is what it would look like without its shell while others claimed it was an alien body. But others had a more sensible approach, claiming it was a large sea sponge that detached from the reef and became stranded. Well, so much for creativity. Slytherin Shenanigans Only in Australia would a nine-foot snake be considered just a nuisance. The massive python was first noticed by the homeowner Nil, but considering it's pretty common to see snakes in Australia, he let it slide. Nil even named the snake Dirk, claiming it was just a pesky feral pet. But Dirk began to invite himself inside the house, much to Nil's irritation. He finally called the authorities so the snake could be released back into the wild. But it gets better. It seems Dirk really liked this house because it kept slithering back in. Eventually, Nil had made his peace with Dirk, and now the pythons welcome to Nil's house anytime at once. Sandy's Seashells Locals woke up to the strange sight of thousands of mussels washed up on the beach. Well, I imagine beachgoers were quite shell-shocked when they stumbled upon this sight. Just thousands of mussels strewn across the beach as if they were haphazardly trying to make a run for the shore. Of course, as baffling as the sight was, it was equally concerning because beachgoers had never seen such an occurrence before. Marine experts weighed in on the situation, and after initial reports suggested it might have been a recent algae bloom, which openly impinges the health and growth of other marine species, including mussels. It's also possible the mussels were forced to make their way out of the water after increasing toxicity levels. Either way, it's a sure sign that we need to be very careful about our surroundings and ensure we reverse every bit of harm. Webapalooza it's those two words you never want to hear. Spider swarm. Thousands of spiders took up residence on a farm in New South Wales, Australia. That's it. I'm never going to Australia, even if someone pays me a thousand bucks. We've always known Australia has a certain fondness for spiders, but imagine thousands of these creepy crawlies invading your home, your safe space, just because they can. As much as I loathe spiders, these creatures weren't at fault here. It's all because of recent extreme weather conditions that are forcing these spiders to resurface. This was the result after Australia's experienced a flash flood. And thankfully though, everything was safe and sound. Thousands of these critters made their way to the walls to ensure their safety. On the other side, there's lots more too. Well, I'm itching to get my hands on a newspaper now. Cold Stone Ends Conservationists find young dead penguins, dozens including adults, they know it's because man is involved. This is a sight you wish you'd never see. This happened just last year in Brazil, and it's a rising concern that could affect other and even far off beaches. These poor penguins mysteriously started to appear at the coast, and tragically their demise might be our fault. Although investigations are still underway, experts are trying to figure out what might have caused their demise. And the only plausible reason is that the water temperature got too hot for these creatures. So they ended up passing away during an attempt at migration. Jaws. 
Still don't know exactly what killed the shark, but at this lab behind me, this is where fish and wildlife experts are trying to find out what killed this great white. You don't know true fear unless you've seen a great white shark looking like a great white meal. I don't know what caused this shark's demise, but it's pretty clear this creature didn't leave without a fight. Beachgoers discovered the shark only a few meters from the coastline, suggesting that the shark was unwillingly beached during attempts to escape whatever predator was chasing it. But the site had even marine experts close to tears. It is pretty sad to see such a majestic animal meet its demise. As they pondered what might have caused the shark's demise. But you know what I think? If a creature has the gall to encounter a great white, I'm fine with never visiting Australia. Down under, up wonder. Nothing in the sky at all. And then all of a sudden, bam. What is that? Folks, you might want to start preparing your apocalypse bunker because we've got official sightings of UFOs. If you think I'm pulling your leg, take a look at this video filmed by a tourist exploring the Australian coastline. The first thought would be that it's just a fleet of airplanes, right? That seems like the logical solution, but check this out. Anybody tell me what that is? We're in the middle of the ocean. The fleet is supposedly suspended in the air. It's not even like they're moving. And if we account for the dramatic wind, velocity, and lack of sound made by these mysterious aircraft, it's pretty much possible to believe it might be a UFO craft making a brave appearance. Martians Rush Hour <laughs> UFO sightings are becoming increasingly common. And here's one visual that might blow your mind. We've always wondered why UFO sightings never align with the evidence, but now we've got a visual clear as day. Of course, most of the people had to step out of their cars to record this sight. Although the UFO quickly zooms out of sight, you might claim it's just another aircraft, but I've never seen one that is distinctly shaped like a saucer. I guess all those cartoon UFOs really held some weight to them. Beast Feast. Call me crazy, but I'd never venture out into the open sea with an intense shark population, much less when it's Australia. A group of boaters in Tasmania surely learned their lesson the hard way when one great white suddenly tackled their boat and took a bite. The ambush was so sudden it almost toppled them off board. You're probably thinking the boat saved them, right? Well, this is how some sharks operate. They'll see something bobbing along the ocean, see it as a possible meal, and take an experimental bite. If it's something inedible, they'll let go. If it's something they can eat, well, time to say goodnight. Whale Tail We've seen a couple of horror stories, but here you'll have your faith in humanity restored. A couple of beachgoers observed a mink whale in a tricky situation and realized they needed more than just their spirits to help the poor creature out. So they called rescue authorities and they stepped in the freezing waters to help the mink whale out. It wasn't the easiest task, although mink whales are comparatively smaller than the rest. They still weigh a lot and require a little more than determination to reach back home. But the rescue attempt was successful, and the whale was able to live to see another day. Coiled Turmoil A six-inch long, toxic killer. Just when I think things in Australia couldn't get any worse, they do! The number one rule of seeing a mysterious conical shell on a beach is not picking it up, because it could be the very venomous cone snail. So imagine an entire beach littered with thousands of them. When thousands of cone snails turn up on a beach, it's usually not just a random event. Ocean currents and tides play a big part. Imagine strong waves or unusual tides acting like a conveyor belt, bringing these tiny venomous creatures from the depths to the shore.
Another factor could be changes in their habitat. Either way, it's a pretty nightmarish situation. Resurrection Riddle Frank Sy discovered the spotted tail quoll at his farm in Beachport on Tuesday. It's uh, beyond my imagination. A century-old mystery in South Australia has just taken an astonishing turn. A fish farmer in Beachport stumbled upon a creature long thought extinct in the region, a quoll. Quolls are small, meat-eating marsupials with cool spots. They used to live around here, but then vanished. Their sudden disappearance over a hundred years ago left a gap in the local ecosystem. This unexpected sighting raises intriguing questions. It's the first documented sighting of the species in SA since the 1880s, but where the quoll came from remains a mystery. How did this quoll reappear? And where has it been hiding all this time? We may not have the answer, but we're pretty glad to see this critter back to life. Bombastic Wonder I'm no expert, but that's the biggest wombat I've ever seen in my life. Well, turns out you won't find a wombat like this elsewhere. This is because Patrick here is a world record holder, weighing a whopping 79 pounds, and that's 20 pounds more than the average weight. Patrick the Wombat lived in the Ballart Wildlife Park in Australia. He was raised by a couple and brought to the park after his mother tragically passed away in an accident. Since Patrick grew up with humans, he was quite comfortable with them. Not only did he interact with his trainers, but also frequently connected with strangers. Patrick spent a wonderful 31 years with the park, and although he's made his way to heaven, we all have his legacy to remember him. Open Discussion During a dive, marine researchers encountered a group of basking sharks with an unusual problem. Lampreys were attached to them. Lampreys have a terrible-looking oral disc instead of a jaw, used to drill a hole in a fish and drink their blood like vampires. Lampreys, ancient and eel-like, have a unique way of life. Right. Here, you wanna do the lamprey challenge? Latching on to larger sea creatures with their circular, tooth-filled mouths. While this parasitic behavior is common, the researchers decided to intervene, manually removing the lampreys from the sharks. This direct action was a rare opportunity to aid these ocean giants and to study the lamprey's behavior more closely. The encounter offered a unique perspective on how these different marine species interact and depend on each other. Thank you very much for watching the video. Do like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to not miss any of the upcoming amazing videos. Thank you once again.